Welcome to this demonstration movie from Faro HD. In this short tutorial, we'll show you how to utilize the bullet trajectory tool and the trajectory cone. For this exercise, I've already created a 3D shape of a building with our Structure Genius tool, and I've applied a couple of points that will represent our, our bullet entry here in the window and our bullet strike mark on the back. So before accessing our bullet trajectory tool, I'm going to make sure that my point to sna or snap to point uh, tool is on, uh, which it is, and to find the bullet trajectory tool, go over the draw tab here at the pull down menu beside the line tool is the bullet trajectory tool represented by this red line and down here is our trajectory cone. Now we're going to start off with the trajectory tool so I'll click on it. Since our snaps are already engaged we'll just snap to the strike mark on the back and snap to the bullet entry hole in the front. So now our trajectory is done. Uh, I want to draw your attention before we go any further though to the horizontal and vertical angle here we are at minus 102 for horizontal and uh, negative 0.68 uh, for our vertical angle what we're going to do now is we're going to extend this by utilizing the grips to turn it into a tool of analysis and make a good guess based on the evidence where the shot came from to do so we'll grab this middle grip and we'll extend it again horizontal vertical angles are constrained but you'll see that the length over here is changing as we use the bullet trajectory tool to extend into the street to see where the shot may have come from now there are situations where the bullet strike mark on the back may have really caused a lot of damage and you can't get too specific with where it is so you need to put in some error factors here as you're making your analysis that is where the trajectory cone comes into play again our snaps are still on the point we're gonna go get our trajectory cone right here and because we're not exactly sure where the bullet struck on the back we've got to give uh, a, an error factor so we'll click make our first click here on that point and then our next point is going to be at the end of the trajectory rod As soon as we click it a second time the trajectory cone is represented now over here on the left hand side we can see our percentage of error uh, in this case it defaults to 10 percent error uh, now if you've got more information and you can be more precise you can shrink that angle the percentage by entering in this case a number of five uh, if you've got less information to work in you might want to get even more uh, generous with your uh, possibility of error and you just enter a, a higher value there so there you have it uh, it's the bullet trajectory tool and the trajectory cone uh, make sure that you apply your snaps snap them to the evidence on the scene that you've gathered extend the handle to become a tool of analysis with the trajectory tool and if you need to apply an error of percent a percentage of error then use the trajectory cone and there you have it, the bullet trajectory tool and trajectory cone in Ferro HD. Thanks for watching.